Yo hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video Calling all GitLab users Are you concerned about the security of your repositories and projects? You are not alone That is why here in this video we are going to show you how to enable the 2FA on GitLab in 2024 So you can add an extra layer as your security and have more secured accounts So guys let's get started so before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So of course guys, the first thing that I will need you to do is to head up to getlab.com. So go to the getlab.com. As you can see right here, I am now getting into their website and simply log into your account. So here I'm just going to choose this as my main account. And here I'm just going to click on continue. And there we go. So now we have signed into our account and yeah, it seems to be good verification. So now we have to pass the verification. So the verification, pick the rabbits. Okay, let's pick this. This is the rabbit. And I guess, yeah, this is basically it. So now, as you can see, there is already a verification step that has to be done each time someone logs into your account on GitLab. Mm -hmm. So for example, now I have just logged in and they have sent to me uh, like the protection of the account so they have like sent me this code so now i can verify my email address next and the verification has been made successfully now we simply have to go through a couple of things so here we go um other and let's you know, let's use for one star my code continue and yeah here we go let's just name it for example titan group and here let's name projects uh, titan projects and create projects and there we go so now after i did that what i'm gonna do is to actually go to the settings of my account so we have to go right here to the settings as you can see and here you will find general where you will find every single thing about your uh, basically your project but here I guess we should go to my account right, right here so as you can see here we have the account and here you can set status and the profile preferences and more so click on edit profile and as you can see in this area in the edit profile area you'll find here a couple of informations about you and on the left here you'll find accounts applications etc so right click on the account and you will find the two factor authentication right above here so it's going to be the first thing that will be allowing you to see so we simply have to enable it simply by clicking on enable two-factor authentication you'll be able to actually go to it so here on this page as you can see guys register a one-time password authenticator so here they have simply given you a qr code as you can see right here this is a qr code so what you could do with this qr code simply just go to one of your uh, authenticator apps if you don't know any authenticator apps there are the examples so here there is a lot of examples that you can go for for example there is here as you can see the cloud base there is OT in Gisco Dio there is other for example Google Authenticator and Microsoft Authenticator and free software as Aegis Authenticator and free OTP now uh, for the, this video we are mainly going to use either the Google Authenticator as you can see or we are going to be using also um, basically Microsoft Authenticator mm -hmm. so if you find this logo in your Play Store or Google Play depending if you are using your uh, mobile on Android or iOS so depending on your mobile these are the uh, basically the icons that you should be looking for on your Google Play or Play Store so this is for Google Authenticator this, these are the logos but uh, probably now the, the logo the new logo of the authenticator is this one because the old one was that one and then they updated it to fit the google theme which is the blue yellow green and red colors so yeah this is basically the color of the authenticator if you find it make sure to download it 
in case you wouldn't you didn't really like the google team and you are more with the microsoft team then you can simply go with the microsoft authenticator app which works totally the same so there we go this is the app you simply have to enter your um, outlook account sign in and all the codes will be associated with your outlook account so here as you can see you will be for example uh, as you can see this is an example with dropbox so the same thing will be with gitlab so it will be for example gitlab your email with gitlab and then the code that will be uh, below it is gonna be your two-factor authentication code whenever you try to log in from any device they will ask you for this code however this code will be reloading and refreshing every couple of seconds so i think in uh, microsoft it's around 30 seconds i'm not sure yet but it seems like here there's 14 seconds second left and the half time is passed so I uh, I figured out it's only 30 uh, 30 seconds in Microsoft in Google I think it's pretty much the same or even less so this is why I think the two-factor authentication is pretty much really really good as a safe and uh, an extra layer of security because the code is not always the same every minute it changes twice so each minute the code would change twice um, if if uh, there is any other authenticator app that you think of, you could go for it. There is no problem at all with using them. But yeah, this is the app that I usually use because, as you know, Microsoft and Google, they are the big companies. So if I don't trust Microsoft or Google, I'm not going with like something that I never heard of. So this is like the way that I uh, figure things out. So simply now, after you download one of the apps that we talked about, you simply have to open them. And when you open them, for example, here in the Microsoft account, as you can see here, there's this plus button. So in this plus button, after you click on it, there will be two options. Add the app automatically or add the app manually. When you try to add the app automatically, which is basically by scanning the QR code, you simply have to hover your mobile phone or your camera over this QR code and you will be able to add this QR code to your mobile and right after that it will be basically uh, connected. So the 2FA is connected and then you will receive a code that you can uh, enter it right here. Else if your account, uh, if you wanted to do it manually, then you simply have to copy the key that will be given to you right here. So follow these keywords that they have given you, copy them, paste them, give the name for the app which is GitLab and then confirm and you will find your account added as well. So let me just try to add this account to my authenticator real quick. So here we go. I'm going to the authenticator, click on plus, scan QR code and I'm going to scan it and then it will be added automatically to my uh, account on my, basically my account on my mobile or authenticator after that i have pressed and copied that and then we have the recovery code so these recovery codes are basically uh, necessary in case you have forgotten about your account in the authenticator so yeah guys this is basically how you can uh, use your uh, two-factor authentication in your gitlab so that was it for today's video thank you a lot and see you guys in the next tutorial